Jim Frank, and today we're going to demonstrate the administration of the EpiPen. As always, with all medications, ensure you go through your six R's, your indications, and your contraindications. Always ensure the right medication is given to the right patient at the right time, with the right dose, via the right route, and the right paperwork is completed. The indications for use of an EpiPen in the emergency setting are anaphylaxis, which is diagnosed by difficulty breathing, face or throat swelling, or a red, itchy rash after exposure to an allergen. Strider, which is wheeze on inhalation, and cardiac arrest. There are no contraindications to administration of an EpiPen in these circumstances. It's important to know that first responders may only assist with administering the EpiPen. Once you've identified that your patient is in severe anaphylaxis, you begin to administer your epinephrine. Remove the medication from its box, then remove it from its inner box. Inspecting the medication makes sure it's not damaged or it's out of date. Remove the blue safety cap on top. Make sure the patient has nothing in his pocket that would hinder the needle end from penetrating his skin. And then firmly press down on the patient's thigh with your EpiPen. Pushing down firmly on the EpiPen, you will feel the spring deploy. Hold it down for approximately 10 seconds. After 10 seconds, you can remove your EpiPen. Once it is removed, the protective cartridge will have been deployed. This will prevent any needle stick injury. Continue to monitor your patient for five minutes, and if desired effects have not been achieved, you can administer another shot of epinephrine. Continue monitoring until help arrives.